Wrestling Christmas Miracle. Okay. I guess so. Yeah, he did. What's this Christmas hey Miracle? Hey there. Before we start today's amazing video, Raid we've got to talk about something sinister. It's Raid Shadow. Did you know I've been paying for a gym membership I haven't been using since 2015? What? How could this happen? Who could have ever foreseen this? Oh. But fret not, because today's video is sponsored by Rocket Money. Okay. It's Rocket Money, not Rocket Science, but they're both smart. This little it's gem of an app is like your personal legends. finance superhero. It's Did on a mission to zap away useless I mean, subscriptions, shrink those scary bills, and make your wallet breathe. He just said he hasn't been to the gym, so maybe not. Room. I've been using Rocket Money to kill those sneaky subscriptions you end up forgetting about. And when I uh -huh. say kill, I mean cancel them safely and securely. I didn't mean kill. I didn't mean yes. kill. Yes. You can do it without having to talk to a single human being. Just a couple of taps and poof. I'm also using Rocket Money to negotiate my bills. Just take a photo of my bill, a Wait, few what? taps, and they're on it like Sherlock Holmes. What do They've you got mean? my back on everything from internet to cable bills. You don't want to miss out. Rocket Money has saved customers an average of $720 a year. Wow. That's like one DoorDash order, folks. Over <laughs> 5 million DoorDash. members are already True. using it, and now it's your turn. If you're ready I, I to join the Money Saving Party, so go to rocketmoney.com slash JonTron or ridiculous. hit that link in the description. Start for free or go premium for the full VIP experience. Remember, it's rocketmoney.com slash JonTron to get to started for free. Like and nice now, before, it's just it's so expensive. Time. Today, we're going to be looking at a strange little entry into the world's collective film collection called A Wrestling Christmas Miracle. Okay. Uh, I warn you to brace yourself for this one, because while it may not evoke strong feelings at first glance, uh, with a tagline like, Stupid crooks hold the only copy of a youth's movie for ransom while his father's away in Africa staging what? a... Huh? Wrestling-based coup. What? Uh, we can't really ignore, can we? We can't, you know, how do you say, oh. look the other way? So let's bust open this stocking stuffer and take stock of just how much coal we all got hey, for this Christmas for a holiday. $7 meal? I yeah. give you a wrestling Or like Christmas $20 meal. for a $10 meal. Wait, is this really the first thing we see? Yeah, just them wrestling. Can I start halfway through the film? So right off the bat, the movie starts off on a very strange blurred? foot, and the first, like, actual four minutes and 30 seconds of it comprise of just some kid wrestling for real at his yeah. school's competitions or something. You can tell it's genuine footage, because all the faces in the background are blurred. blurred out. At this point, you can pretty much glean that it's probably the director or producer's son or something like that. Okay. But because if it isn't, that makes it even weirder, frankly. Yeah. There is a name synonymous with youth wrestling in the state of New Jersey. In the state of New Jersey. Case Gabriel. Okay, Case the son Gabriel. Of Olympian Ajax Gabriel. So it's kind of hard to follow, but uh, apparently the kid wrestling here is called Case Gabriel. He's some kind of wrestling champion in New Jersey. Okay. And the story follows him and his Olympian father, Ajax Gabriel, who uh, okay. we haven't yet seen. It's genetics. Ah, uh, there he is. There Found he is. Him. The kid is a machine built to win. Yeah. <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to have to pause right here. What in the hell was that? Yeah. Uh, who is this random dude all of a sudden, and why is he, why is he getting passing so my man over here like that? What's going on? That just comes out of nowhere. And even appeared in a protein right. shake commercial with his father. <sighs> I, do I have to report this movie to the authorities? Is, is, is that the right thing to do? Should I stop making the video and find the number for like, I feel the like FBI, this is, for God's sake? The, the guy is just really excited. He wants to show off his career, and maybe the son... Give him a bit of an ego boost. I don't I don't know about this. I don't think it's a sus movie. I just think it's a really enthusiastic dad. What is going on? I must remind you All that right. by this point we haven't even gotten to the that first real like line a, of the movie. A, a really but somehow dad. this guy's popped in twice already. Yeah. Once shirtless. Yeah. That kid's reaction right there, that's the first semi-normal yeah. thing that's happened so far in this entire film. And yeah. this is on semi, meaning it's just a cringe it's not all dad. the way normal. I'm still in shock and pain. Who is this person? Yeah. I gotta know. Hold on. Let me just check IMDB. Okay. Wrestle. Wait a minute. Ken Del Vecchio. Mario Del Vecchio. Eureka! I found it! Yeah, the plot thickens. Uh, apparently, they are not only father and son in the movie, but in real life as well. Yeah, of and course. And surprise, surprise, Kenneth Del Vecchio also just happens to be the, the writer and the producer writer. of the film. Okay, yeah. I'm shocked. Who would have thought? So, so, like, what is this thing? Is he making this movie for his son to launch his acting career or something? Yeah, maybe. Let's see what he's written for us, then. You know, let's give it a chance. Show us what you got, Mario and Kenneth. I'm Imagine in the future, it's like, hey, you want to remember? You remember that movie we made together? <laughs> let's watch it, this Christmas movie. 
I'm sure it won't be cringe in the future. I'm sure everyone's going to remember this classic. Pop that bad boy in at the family meeting. Oh boy. Done with wrestling. Uh, well, what a miracle. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah. Done with wrestling. Why is Damn. that case? Because in 40 days and 40 nights, it's Christmas. Yeah, what? So? Well. I hate to say it, but she's got a solid point, son. Your rebuttal better be bulletproof. My friend has been in a coma for three months, and if I make a movie that will make him laugh, he'll come out of his coma. That is not what I expected you to say. What? <laughs> hey, fair play. Science has right. never proved that can't work, but uh, that could just be because they don't waste their time, you know, testing that. Keep in mind, please, this okay. is actually the first line of the film. After five so minutes the of friends all in that a coma? bullshit, that's what we but get. But you have to make them laugh? You know as much as I do at this point. You're going to make a movie at only 11 years old in hopes that your friend will come out of his coma? Yes, and I'm going to write it and direct it. What, what can you say? You love a movie that doesn't beat around uh, the bush. Yeah. You know, this is solid storytelling. I mean, okay. And you have to help me. And that's his dad. All right. Well, it can't be helped. I guess I'll just have to write myself into more of the movie. <laughs> I guess I just have to be in the movie now. Oh, no. I guess I'll have to be here. Oh, I have to be that guy. Oh, this unlikely dude. Movies cure comas? Yeah, dude. Hey, lovey. Usually this, they this put my dad is in This quite them. the character, isn't he? I just gotta know more about fell asleep during a movie. Oh, okay. damn. That, this is apparently not this guy's first rodeo. Oh, That's he's a been around a while. Wikipedia page. He's, he's apparently movies written, since produced, and acted in over 30 films. Not only is he apparently the founder wow. of the Hoboken International Film Festival, he's also the author of several legal books, oh. including like hyper-technical works on criminal code. Jesus. Which, by the way, he himself states are second only to the Bible in terms of literature. What? His words. The greatest book ever written on Earth is the Bible. The second greatest book uh, is my criminal code book. Okay. And if that weren't enough for you, he's apparently also okay. a former part-time New Jersey municipal judge. What? What doesn't this guy do? And uh, I by mean, the way, what I, exactly is a part-time judge? He's busy with his life. Uh, I didn't, I didn't even know that. that's something that existed. I am sure it's not the abusive language towards your patients that... This guy looks like a movie villain. <laughs> Why has he got a picture of himself and Obama there too? <laughs> what is this? Got a picture of him and Jesus photoshopped together? What is this guy? What the fuck? This is photoshopped. Landed you in here. Uh. Yeah? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's wrong here. Uh, yeah. This is that's, that's just how the movie is. Yeah. That's actually what happens in the movie. It just abruptly cuts from all that stuff you just saw to oh. this. Okay. With no clues at all as to what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Any, anybody going to say anything? That's, that's not American Sign Language. <laughs> you had something to say? You are a complete mental midget. You do not have Dr. Reno in front of you. No, you don't. How would you like it if you stepped into Newark Municipal Court? You know, you're fighting a charge. You know you didn't commit the crime. It's 25 to life. It's what? serious. You look up on the podium and this, this what is, is this? staring back at you. I mean, that's wrestling acting. Okay. Okay. I used to looking out from behind iron bars because, uh, let's face it, you don't stand a chance. Oh, uh, all right. Idiot. Wow, that's the, that's there you are. Where have you been? Look, at least Gilbert Gottfried's in this movie. Gilbert? What do you mean Gilbert Gottfried's in this movie? Gilbert Gottfried? What is he doing here? What is he doing in this movie? Oh God, no! Was this his last movie? This I hope came not. Out in 2020. It's cutting it close. It, almost. Okay, not technically. Uh, Oh, okay. We can still sleep tonight. Thank yeah, God. Yeah, so the legendary Gilbert Gottfried is in this movie I'm for Gilbert some reason. Gottfried. And so are other well-known actors like Michael Winslow movie. from Police Academy. And that back there was Martin Cove from Karate Kid and Cobra Kai. Yeah. Did these people even know what they were involved with No, here? I don't they think just so. They it was a Make-A-Wish thing, and that's why they got the kid over there in the coma? Yeah. How did they get these actors? Is it really that easy? What, what was the budget for this thing? I don't know. Two million dollars? <laughs> Two million? What? How?
You don't just get two million dollars out of nowhere. And look, a lot of his movies have budgets like that. What? What? I'm just saying, a lot of genuinely classic films didn't even have a budget that high. Yeah. Surely these movies like don't make their money back through the box office. How do they even get the huh? money? I mean, there's no info on the record about that, but I don't think this played in theaters either, so no, where didn't. is this money coming from? Is it revenue from his legal books or something? That'd be a lot of book sales, yeah. okay? I don't know what, but something's rotten here. Oh yeah, the stink the on this wrestling mat goes down below the there carpet to the budget layer that looks like mil? pizza. Or at where's least that, I that I budget? Like I, don't even, I didn't even don't see at least 10K you think, worth Yoda? of budget hmm. yet. Besides Gilbert Godfrey taking up most of it. What? I hate this thing. And if you bought the if you bought this for your lawn for Christmas, you saw that in the store, you picked that up, you took it home. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. Get help. Day Jesus. one of your sentence is officially over. What Thanks. do you think? <laughs> okay. I didn't script it with curse words. You didn't script it with curse words? So yeah, it turns out that whole thing that just randomly popped into the film was actually the comedic anti-coma film all along, and we've basically oh. just been watching it. So what'd you think? Did you laugh? Oh. Did you cry? That was the coma film? Yes, I was the inspiration for this project. Man, it's sad. Who's that Uncle always guy? gets far away from the boom mic when he's drunk. He just can't help himself. <laughs> I think he's trying to say, um... What is this? This guy loves his sign language jokes, okay? Okay. And buddy, pal, what is going on with the v-neck here? Okay, this is, is out of control. Doing? I'm no fashionista, but <laughs> you got some explaining to do. You want a v-neck, I'll give you a v-neck. Yeah. Okay? What you got going on is pathetic. <laughs> if it doesn't start at the belly button, how will they even know what letter Oh, no, it is? he's cutting his poor shirt. There we go. Oh, nice no. Nice and right in my retina. Who needs to see for this Christmas? Oh. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. No, nobody get too turned on. Oh. But guys, this isn't about me. Oh, that be. It's about Charlie. No. In five days, it's Christmas, and when he hears this movie, he's gonna shirt. wake up from his coma laughing. Case, you did a wonderful thing here. But your little baby friend is dead. He's not coming back. Kate, that's not how this works. Don't Jesus, you think if he's you could got bring more him back with laughter, than women the doctors would have put Seinfeld up on the little TV in the hospital room or something? Case, yeah. your friend's a vegetable. He's like this cauliflower, except what? This is much more useful because I can eat this. Oh, oh, he's gone, Kate. He's gone. You need to start wrestling again. Pal. Rock cauliflower actually taste. After Christmas, when Charlie was. Is it like rock? Yeah, yeah, come here. You know what Abraham Lincoln said, don't That's you? That's fucking he weird. He said, "Wrestle right now, or I won't finish the Civil War." Four score and seven broken ribs. I'm going for the Gettysburg grab. That was really weird. He grabbed his kid like that, but I mean, it is a movie. I don't. Know. Hey. It was great sticking around for this movie, but I'm gonna do what I do every year at Christmas time. Okay. Either with you or without you. Usually it's with you. We are not going to the Congo with you to wrestle. What a selfish Okay. Case, I am going to wrestle an elephant for you. So you heard that right. Uh, the dad leaves the movie at this point to wrestle an elephant, wrestle an elephant in the Congo for his son. Happy holidays. And uh, that's pretty much that. Okay. And you, young lady. Elephants are really fucking cool, and I don't want to wrestle one. I just want to see one. I want to. I I really don't like the fact that he gets so creepily close like that. That is not. See, it's ears flap. That's why I'm going. Now let's all huddle it up. One, one two, three. Okay. Merry Christmas! <laughs> So it's revealed that the comedic film has only one copy for some reason, and it's entrusted to the drunk uncle to protect it oh, the and drunk make a uncle. copy when he gets home. Listen, your dad made me the associate producer for a reason. Give me the hard drive, I'll make a copy of it, I'll make a copy of the DVDs, and I keep it safe for you, buddy. Okay, Uncle Ronald. Huh? <laughs> yes, my boy, how are you? <laughs> But you don't want this? You don't want this pepper throughout your movie? Uh, <laughs> you don't want his uh, Bilbo Baggins impression or whatever the fuck this is? Uh, this is going to be the best Christmas ever, I tell you. You don't want that? Well, you're getting that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's fool around. But all is not well at the Gabriel. Yeah, I'm sure that's normal. Oh my god. Does John Tron make it his mission to try and find the worst movies I think I've ever seen? Because, like, that's something else, man. You know, I try to... I actually actively looked at bad anime out there, but, like, there's a point where I, like, I just don't want to watch anymore. You know? Brain rot day? Yeah, pretty much. 
household. For mere moments after the uncle is entrusted with the hard Maybe drive, which, uh, by the way, him? has the only copy of the movie baked oh, into I'm it, sure there's plenty it's revealed of that Christmas two duds uh, out scheming, there. ridiculously annoying characters are planning to steal it and hold it for ransom for a large sum of money. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> what is this grinch? gorgeous boyfriend has a scathingly brilliant plan to make off with the Gabriel's Christmas. Make off? Menendez. Oh, you mean steal. <laughs> Just fucking steal it already? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> On the 12th okay. Day of Christmas, I can't believe John tried to edit it that me. well. 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping. Where is the ivy? Where yeah. are the tubes? How yeah, is does supposed to be... he piss? Yeah. So there's your coma victim. Not Let's really. Real. He, he just Where's didn't want to go budget? to school because he knew he was going to fail his biology exam, and now he's just locked in for the long game. Yeah. yeah I, I know a long game when I see one. This, this is a long game right here. He's going like this every time the coast is clear. You wanted to play with fire, kid. Now you're in adult diapers. Your mom's singing you nursery rhymes out of pitch right next to your head. Uh. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. So let me summarize the rest of this film for you briefly. Uh, nothing happens for 40 minutes straight. Okay. The robbers arrange to trade money for the hard drive of the film. Uh, the drunk uncle then pulls a gun on what? the robbers and then randomly robs his own family instead. What? There's a million dollars in that bag. Between that and the black market of the movie, I'm gonna be set for life and I don't have to live in your shadow. I I hate to be the guy, but a million dollars is not gonna set you for life anymore. <laughs> anyway. That was any more. Even though he could have just taken the money before they got there because he was with yeah. it and he had the money. He had he had the money. I know well, what's up, man. He already had he's he's the one who brought the money. So, Kenneth comes back from Africa to save the day, and now things are really gonna be awkward at family get-togethers. And then at the last minute, the kid tackles the uncle and they get the movie back. It doesn't matter. Does it, does it even matter? three or four mil. Ronald's gun was a fake. He took it from my toy collection. No, Case, that's a bomb. Oh, this it's a is bomb. no bomb, it's a can of tennis balls. <laughs> <laughs> he was it's a good kid. Damn, he died. He tried his hardest and now he's dead. Damn, it's a relatable dude. story. Kid's he's dead. dead. He's dead. He's dead. It's not tennis ball, guys. It was a pipe bomb. Can I go home? <laughs> So anyways, there's right. one loose end to tie up. Case still has to play that movie for his friend yeah. and wake him up out of his coma. How did that work? Case, he just needs a little more time. Oh. Yeah, it didn't work. He's dead. He's gone. He's, yeah, he's well, locked he's in actually just dead. That was the last option. Shit. At this point, things start to wrap up, and Case says his final tearful goodbyes uh. to his friend. Wanna know my family's secret wrestling move? It's called the Gabriel Splato with a soup ladle. Now don't show anyone this move, Charlie. This is how you do it. He's After gonna peel back Wait, the guy's what? forearm. Uh, Case, what are, you, what are you doing? What? You lock his head. Oh, don't bend his head like that. You're gonna put him in another coma. Case, that's a bomb. Wait. Now this will either put the guy to sleep or wake uh, him up. Case, could you get off? Charlie, you woke up. Thank you for getting off me. That's some crazy story. It, <laughs> it just hurts so bad. You know, some days it just hurts. Oh, what was that? God. It's a miracle. It's a true Christmas oh, miracle. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I die of cringe, bro. What the fuck is this movie? Oh my God. Jerry, I, I don't know what happened. She wasn't like that when I went to sleep. Jeez. You're a barrier, Jerry. We bury together. We're barriers. Hatchets. We bury our hatchets, George. <laughs> Not dead hookers. <laughs> Good old Seinfeld. <laughs> All right. Well, there was our John Tron thing. I just... Dude, I've seen better acting in my terrible high school play. <laughs> I I have seen better acting in my fucking high school drama plays, man. That was uh, th those didn't even have a budget, man. We just used whatever the fuck we had. We had maybe like what two hundred dollars per. Th that was all we had. Remember Ashley acting in my skit? Ashley's acting is um. I'd rather not bring that up there. Ashley's acting is not that good. <laughs> I hate, I hate to be the guy. But it's real. It's not that good. She was really good. Okay, maybe you're right. Yeah.